Hi, Shelly. Um, you know Shelly? Yeah. Um, she called me the other day wondering about maybe if the, music, if the library could uh, get some of this federal money, and I had no idea. Mm -hmm. And so I suggested that she or one of the board members would come over and talk and, and see what we can do. And we can give her the manual that's 157 <laughs> yeah. pages long to read it. I've seen so much stuff lately there. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, what uh, What are you wanting to do at the library? Okay. The library has had a great need for a long time, and it's the basement. And, uh, you know, I got on the board about three years ago, and we talked about this thing, and we talked about it. We've had other people come out from Wichita and look at it, but it's their opinions are very different on what we should do. So we've heard about the Kishney Group out of Kansas City. They're currently working on the Reno County Courthouse, and they work strictly with historical buildings. And this building has so much history, and it is an historical building. Um, the problem is, is that you know we're going to ask for money that you really can't see something being fixed up. But it's very vital because the basement, the mortar in it, is deteriorating. It's actually falling out onto the floor, and it's also we get water down there, so we have a mold issue, and. There's wood down there that we need to remove. There's also an old fireplace down there that I would love to bring up and just, just for looks, you know, because it, it means a lot. I've been reading a lot about the history, and the Larrabees really had a lot to do with the electricity coming into Stafford, the phone system, and then built mills, and they did all kinds of stuff. But their daughter died, and they wanted to do something nice, in, you know, to remember her. So that's why it's called the Nora E. Larrabee Library. And it was given to Stafford. Of course, there was controversy. If you go back in the deed, it's really interesting, as there always is. But anyway, it, it's really an interesting situation. The library is owned by the board of directors, and the, but the land is owned by the city. So it's been very interesting trying to work all this out. But the city does take care of some things for us, like mowing. Uh, they come and change light bulbs. They will do very you know small repairs. But the basement is we can't store anything down there. It's I think it's providing um, mold that has ruined hundreds of books already, as far as the librarian is telling me. And um, I just believe that it's time to fix it. And it's going to cost a hundred and it's twenty-four thousand dollars. One hundred twenty-four thousand is the base bid, but we've added ten thousand dollars to it as a contingency because you know this bid was in April. No, excuse me, it was in February. And so we know that the price of things have gone up, and it's not going to be $124,000. Um, so what we are doing, we also don't have a front door that's working. So there's only one door that you can get into the library, and it's the door that is for the handicap access. So everybody's upset because we can't open the front door, and I understand we need a new door. So this is also in the bid as well. So what we decided is that we need to do a very aggressive fundraiser. We already have one major donor, and so we are embarking at this time on a very well-constructed, very organized plan to go to a community and to alumni and, and the Kansas Co-op and all kinds of things. We, it's very, the backbones of this thing is unbelievable. And so we're, we feel like we need to, as a library board and as community members, we need to take our part in also collecting money. But when I found out about this money, that I, the reason that we feel like we deserve some of this money and want to ask for it is because during COVID, we did provide services. It has almost caused us to blossom in the services that we provide for our community. Um, we have internet access that is free. You don't have to have a password. So people drive up, they sit on the steps, and they use our internet. They used it during COVID. They're using it not in COVID. But I think they used it more in COVID because you didn't have your school to go to uh, for remote learning. And I think that people didn't have the library to go into, so they drove up and used our, our access to our internet. We also had um, the librarian stay on during the whole time. We did shut down for three weeks our physical door, but we did not close the access to the library. We have our books on uh, the internet so that you can access our books and you can ask to, to check those out. Jan, the librarian, she gets them ready and she, they can pick them up curbside. 
We delivered to the nursing homes. We delivered to the home daycares that stayed with some kids still in their daycares. Um, we also ended up with an event committee, and it's a very structured committee with some amazing people on it. So our library has blossomed, I think, from COVID because we felt like social interaction during COVID times is, is so severe, especially in our small communities. We don't have access to a lot of things. So we, do, we did have events, which we had events that you could come into the building and you could also access outside the building. We had food trucks. Um, the Stafford uh, Rodeo Association, they came. We had a car show. We had things that you could do outside. Um, we bought a um, canopy so that when people um, come for the food trucks, uh, Daryl didn't have a food truck, but he brought food over from Wheatland. But um, we had a place where people could sit. Um, we're tr our, our minds are constantly thinking about the things that we can do to bring our community together. I feel like in Stafford County, you know, we tend to lose things, you know, as time goes on, and people tend to move away. So our thought process is that we need to bring people in. We also collaborate all through the county. Um, the Idlewild Goodman Library, that's what I grew up with. And so I never really understood the, the unbelievable gift that I had as a student at St. John. And as I raised kids here for a little while, I mean, I didn't understand what that was was like when you miss that. So um, the library in Stafford, we've changed our outlook. It's not just about checking out books. It's about reaching out to our Hispanic population. We have a huge Hispanic population. One of our board members, uh, she brings people in and translates. She gets books for them. Um, the nursing homes and those kinds of things are very important. But we collaborate with the Iowa Goodman Library. Lori here is amazing. And she even came to our library and tried, she tries to help us with what kind of things can we do. If we can't find a book, or you know, we have a book, I mean, we, Jan and Laura are collaborating, which I love. Um, we also provide services for homeschooling kids. There's people that don't feel comfortable going to school right now. So they can bring their, their program in and they need books to read. And so Jan will look at their list and the first thing she does if we don't have a book, she checks with Laura. And then we also are learning to buy books that are used. They're in great shape, but they are so much cheaper than buying brand new books. The, the depth of, um, of increase in our uh, ability and our open-mindedness to try to change and meet the needs of our community and also Stafford County is growing like I can't believe because we have people involved that are uh, thinking outside the box. Um, we're on our board, we can only have people, because this is the way they set it up originally, we can only have people who are living in the town of Stafford. But it doesn't mean we can't use people on our event committee that are outside. So we have Pam Turner, so um, we have Nancy Hildebrand. We have people that can come in and help us and bring people together. I, I have this for you guys to keep, and I, since our project is so expensive, I originally thought about this and talked to Clayton about it, but I am asking for $50,000. Um, we are going to do our best. Our goal is to reach $50,000 from our donors. Like I said, we do have uh, one donor that is willing to give us money if we personally match it. We have to match it. So we are, um, we're going to do it. Uh, it's time to get this taken care of. I feel like it's affecting the health of our, our books, our people, and um, we want our library to be healthy. We have, I'm going to go over this really quick. We have a free computer training class. So we have three computers in our library. So people come in and access that for anything that they need. I already talked on the Wi-Fi. We have someone come in and, and we offer free income tax assistance. We have free Medicare enrollment assistance. We have opportunities for social, social interaction through book clubs and group activities. We offer summer reading programs for children, which down in the part under COVID, we transitioned to an online program so that we could access our kids instead of having them come into the library. We offered them activities, and we had two gals that year that helped us online to work with the kids. 
This year, we worked with the Imon Goodman Library, and we used the same person that did your summer reading program, hired the same person. So that was really wonderful. We, um, we provide large print books, which are becoming in high demand. Uh, we do the community events. Uh, we have meeting spaces. Um, we also, down under the COVID, um, all area residents are still able to check out books. I talked about that. Um, if they're not comfortable with accessing the books online, they can call the library and Jan will help them through that. Um, I already talked on that. Let's see. Um, I, just, I also feel like people who don't, do not have internet access cannot find out things on, about COVID. I mean, I feel like it's important to be able to access our Stafford Health Nurse. I think those people have done a fantastic job. They're working with me right now because I'm subbing for the school nurse over at Stafford. And that's where I was this morning before I came here. But um, the Stafford Health Nurse and your, your school nurse here have helped us tremendously uh, because we, I just wrote, we just wrote a grant for, and we received $80,000 from KDHE to uh, provide COVID testing in the schools just like you're doing here in St. John because we want to keep our kids in schools. We are not masking. We want to keep away from masking if we can. Um, but uh, we are, we've got, this is our only way. When we saw St. John go through what they did, that's what we're doing. So anyway, I, I appreciate, I like collaboration. Um, I visited, I've been in all these schools, and I, I appreciate everyone in the schools. I appreciate everyone that works with us. So I, I just feel like the library is doing a good job in there. But really, um, that's about all I have to say. I did bring the Pishney. Um, it's just a summary letter of what they're going to do to the basement if you're interested in having that. And it says 123990 but we're adding $10,000 into it. But if you guys would be interested in that, I think it's, these people are, are they basically going to jack it up for a new basement underneath? No. They're going to, what they do is they try to take what you already have and make it exactly as much as they can to the way it was. And so the mortar that they use, they're going to use, it's not going to be the same, but it's going to be similar to what that library had yeah, before. I want to excavate. Yeah. How long it used, it says, and they're been night and just re, basically redo the. Yes, and I read some history on the library and, and how that library, the different sections of the library, and the original library is the only part that is over the basement. You know, there's two wings that have been added, and those do not have a basement underneath it. But, but, um, it, but we're just going to try to get to where we can use it for storage and things like that, because if we made it a place where we could use it the way they used to, it's not really ADA because it's got stairs and we have to do a lot more work. We're trying to do everything so that we don't absolutely have to spend any more money than we have to. Yep. But the door alone, I'm not sure who or what, where that door came from, but it was installed. It's too heavy and it doesn't have the supports that it needs. And so these people are going to make a beautiful door, but it's going to have a support that will last you know, for a long time. And they also, I've got on Pishney's website, and it's very interesting to see the types of projects that they have completed. And uh, they've worked on some pretty major projects, and it has before and after pictures, and I really, I really like that. And it was, the people that we had before, it was going to be very expensive anyway, and it was just for the basement alone. And, and it was not going to be usable. We do have to go down and remove the wood, which we're going to use volunteers. I look at Richard because... <laughs> Oh, so you're a volunteer, huh? <laughs> so we're, we're going to try to remove the wood ourselves for a cost-saving purpose. Um, so anyway, and all the board members, I, I've already Why talked. Anybody wants to help. Yeah. <laughs> all the board members, um, I have gone to them. We have our board meeting, and everyone is expected to give to this project because we're asking others to give. I don't care what they give, but everybody has to give. So, yeah. Um, <coughs> There's, have you ever been over there? Mm -hmm. I've been in there. And when she keeps mentioning the front door, it's the front big. door is massive. It's it at least four foot tall. And it's and probably eight foot, anyway. Eight, eight or nine eight foot or tall. Nine. And it's lead glass 
right? And then it might, I'm not sure that it might be leaded glass. I'm I not sure, sure where that door came from. But it's it's, it's awesome. massy. It's beautiful. It takes four to take it off. Right? 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 He says no. Right. He wants to put a different wood in there. But, and maybe but you're going to keep it. Oh, but somewhere. Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> well, that's a beautiful. It thing. can't it be is. open. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. It be. It's awful. Which is one of the things that's concerning as as far as egress. In case there was a fire, mm -hmm. you only yes. have one exit. That's Except right. for the windows. Yes. And the windows are pretty high off the ground. <laughs> well, and also, you know, when we, we, our board, we discussed, you know, whether we were going to continue our event, events into November because we were going to take a little bit of time off for the winter time because we can't do really outside activities. Uh, Mary Jo um, is on our board, Mary Jo Taylor, and she said, you know, the problem with when we enter the building, we come up, we all come up that ramp, and we walk in, she goes, it's like a bottleneck, and so we're all together. You cannot really do any kind of spacing. And so there's problems with that door not being opened. It's also some of our, I mean, the, actually the major donor, one of the major donors we have is very upset about the door, and she wants that door fixed. And so we're, we're going to get that door fixed. Yeah. But we want it fixed. It makes us yeah. sick. Yeah. And we've been talking about this like a hamster wheel. And I, I mean, we're here, and we're going to get it done. So I, I need your help, and I feel like we, this impacts us during COVID times, and I feel like we're a great support for people during COVID, and uh, I feel like we collaborate with Paul Stafford County, and I feel like it's necessary. And so I would appreciate your help. Do you guys get money now from uh, property taxes? We do. We have in the deed, it's written, and so we can't change it, like a little over two mill levy that helps us some. Uh, we do have, we were uh, given some farm ground and actually Richard and Steve Farm, and it's about 114 acres. And so we do receive income from that. Um, but, and we do have a little bit of money saved up. So there's leaded class windows that need to be uh, looked at and things like that that we want to do eventually. So we are willing. If we can't get quite the money, we're willing to uh, pour in a little bit of that money, but we do have it kind of set aside for some other projects as well. But um, I'm going to see how much we get out of our donations, and we are, we are also writing for grants. We have Jan writing for grants, and we also have um, Connie, Connie Carmen, it's Connie, Connie Austin, and she writes, she lives at Beatrice, she lives in Richard's class. She writes grants for uh, like YMCA and type things like that. So she's helping us. She's helping us build this program. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 So it's as as we can. so it sounds like kind of what my concern was is, I mean, it sounds like you guys are financially stable enough where if you get the big projects done, then the library yes. can continue. Yes. We hate to fix the building up and then next year come and oh, say right. we need thirty more thousand. That's for a it. very good question. In fact. Um, and just so you know, we do have a CD, a, a savings account, a checking account, so we have $50,000 that we can work with. And then we have farm ground that comes in, uh, the money for that, and the, the levy. So, and the city helps us. I mean, we have our grass mode and things like that. So I feel like we're very stable. Yeah, um, should be on. We yeah. should be just should fine. Be we are, I mean, we, I know we are just fine, so. Okay. What about uh, eligibility? Is this all going to? I we'll probably have to research it. Yes, we have a. We're working with an administrator for our funding, so I'm going to send all this to him. Okay. That's what we've been doing with a couple of other things, mm -hmm. and then they're they're actually going to do a Zoom meeting with you guys before we get a schedule, and then they'll go over what's been submitted. Okay. So we, we can't do it unless they bless it. Okay. We did I receive mean, some Sparks money. I don't know if that makes any difference. Oh, you did? Yes, we did. We received. 7,135, so we were able to buy touches, sanitizer stands, sinks with touchless faucets, touchless toilets, um, hand-mounted soap dispensers, a book trolley. We did put an HVAC uh, in, and uh, we got curbside book bags, masks. Uh, uh, we, we did increase our broad, broadband internet, um, and we, we got supplies to be able to give away for kids so that we could reach out to them during COVID. Um, and we did, were able to order some new books and some new media. So, but we did receive that. Do you need more of that? You want to copy of this? No, I'll just it. tell them that. Um, receive sports money. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. That may help out because if you qualify for sports Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't qualify for our 
It seemed like the regulations on the ARC was a little bit less than it was the first time around, didn't it? Well, it's 151 pages long, and they keep adding yeah. to and it. I so and I have read them. It's crazy. That's, That's why crazy. we hired yeah. hired the guy. Sure. Yeah. Would he ever want to talk to them? To me, or? he'll go through these guys. Okay, that's right. why I said I'll just get them your information, and okay. these guys can talk to him about it, and um, we'll go from there. Okay. Uh, same way with the fair. I building. think there's a lot of different angles. I think you, you can, can work with the spin ARPA. It. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, counties are spending theirs very strangely, and it's like. <laughs> uh, We're trying to spread ours out and do as much good with it as yeah. we can. Yes. Sure. Yes. We have committed uh, the. Soil conservation, you know, they help people uh, bring their septic systems up to code, mm -hmm. and usually yes. they can do like four a year before the state cut their funding down to two a year. Uh, mm -hmm. And I think they had seven. Yeah. And so yeah. somehow, with upgrading sewer systems, was approved by the ARPA. Mm -hmm. So we're it's helping there. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then we've uh, we're going to give uh, two hundred fifty thousand dollars to get a new fair building. Mm -hmm. The round top tore down and put up in Stafford. And I kind that's of think the, that's all the things you've really committed to. Yeah, so yeah, far. yeah, so far. Uh, so we'll put it on the list. Okay. I'll I'll just, it. I'll thank you. Yeah, right you guys, on. thank you very much for what you do. And thanks for being so easy to talk to and easy to come to. So I really appreciate it. So. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks for doing work. all the good work. Yeah, yeah so good good work. Work. The slows down, we might have to try to come over there and take a look at it. Okay. <laughs> Bring your hammer so you can sure, help me yeah. take the wood out. Yeah, the wood out. You sure. guys were happy to see the stained glass window of Nora. And I will tell that you this, neat, I, yes. I truly believe, like, the kids that come to the library, like, my granddaughter, she, all of a sudden, she likes history. And I, I just started thinking, well, where did she get that? Because none of us are really history buffs. But, you know, she comes into that library, and she, she wants to know everything about Nora. And she uh, died, I think, when she was like 24. She had tuberculosis. So, uh, okay. anyway, she just thinks that's amazing. So, <laughs> pictures. Yeah. yeah. The library is super the, cool. The windows are beautiful. Yeah. They are. Yeah. Well, yeah. so. so, you guys, thank you so thanks much. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Right. Appreciate it. Right. Thanks. I make a motion that we approve the minutes of the September 22nd, 2021 meeting. Sorry. Then move and second. We accept the minutes of September 22nd. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Sounds like that company uh, doesn't just fix it; they put it back to where it looks. They like care it's about old. the integrity. Yeah. Um, okay. A couple things. Is anybody going to KAC? I don't think so. Okay. So you want to make Luann your delegate for all this stuff? She's the only one sure. going. Ryan's not when going. Philip's not going. It's uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I, uh, I don't know. It's it's the eighth. Um, is that the deal that's at Kansas City or Kansas? Yeah, Kansas City. it's 450 bucks. It's 18, 19, 20. Yeah, more. Um, yeah, I can't make it. She is the only one that's going. Philip's not going because of COVID, and Ryan's not going because it's just, he just said he wasn't going. So. Um, and I don't want to go because it's in Kansas City. That's exactly right. I mean, I don't know how important it is. I don't know. I don't what does a voting delegate do? Uh, you're there in, in the session in the morning, and you have your your SF in a, in a page protector, and you hold it up, and they count to vote on whatever they want to change or add. I or don't know that it's right, Todd. If, if not, if Pardon? you were when you held up the sign that had the SF on it, yeah, voted. I don't even remember what we voted. If none of you are going, yes. I don't think we need delegate. No. I'll just tell them. No. You, nobody's no. going, and we won't be having delegates. No. If that's okay with you guys. Yeah, that's um, fine. Okay. Um. We had a K work inspection of the courthouse. Everything passed. We don't have to do anything this year. That's good. So. That was and that's all I have. Do you have anything? Rob Murrow's dad passed away yesterday, so oh. he's gone for a while. So was that a surprise? Or? Oh, I don't think so. Well, they put him on a hospital sign about three weeks ago, yeah. so. Um, We're going to send well, something. Yeah, do we do? Carol, we'll, uh, recess. we'll recess. I make a motion that we go into five minute executive session discussing on elected personnel. And then, and then we'll adjourn after that. No action. Second. 
then made the motion to remain saying we go in executive session and then close the meeting afterwards. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried.